hello friends in our last video i have discussed how the energy bands originates in the solids and in semiconductors we will discuss the fermi energy and also the density of states in semiconductors and the distribution function is fermi direct distribution function and what are direct band and indirect band semiconductors so this is the band diagram for con um, metals or conductors and this is for semiconductors and this is for insulators so there is in conduction band there are electrons in valence band poles are there electron can, can go from valence band to conduction band so insulators have very high band gap it is greater than 3 electron volt white conductors uh, in case of the conductors the band gap overlap the, uh, conduction band and valence band and in uh, semiconductors we have this band, band gap is small uh, from range 0 0.01 electron volt to 1 electron volt in case of the semiconductor so electron follow the fermi direct distribution function and and the density of state tells that how many states exist in a given energy range and the fermi function fe it describes that how many of the existing states at energy l e will be filled by the electrons and it is it also tells about the probability and distribution function this function is known as probability distribution function and electrons are fermions um, they have a spin half and they follow the fermi direct distribution function which is f e equal to 1 upon 1 plus e minus e f divided by kt so this function depends on temperature also e f is the fermi uh, energy or fermi level k is boltzmann constant and t is temperature in kelvin so if we see at t equal to 0 0 kelvin the half of this is filled if we put this value here so t equal to 0 it will be 1 by 2 on this function and if we increase the temperature some electrons can go to higher energy states so the curve will be like if we increase t1 so this will this will be like this at t2 it will be like this so some electrons can go up at higher temperature to conduction band also so this is uh, a numerical calculate the probability of electronic state to be occupied at 20 degree centigrade if the energy state lies uh, 0.11 above and 0.11 below the fermi level so at first we have to uh, change this degree in kelvin to find out this uh, relation and this use the fermi distribution function 1 upon 1 plus e minus e f by kt so in one case it is given as uh, per, uh, uh, e minus e f is 0.11 above so we will take this positive and if we change temperature and k is constant so find we, we can find this is 0.0126 uh, is the probability or we can say 1.26% and if it is below the fermi level then we will have to take this e minus ef as negative so one um, e, e raised power minus 0.11 ev divided by if we take kt in ev also then we can directly use uh, calculate it and it is 0.987 so 98% chances are um, at 20 degree room temperature is that 98% electrons are in valence band because below the fermi level we have the valence band and above it it is uh, conduction band so very few electrons 1% uh, electrons are in this band above the fermi level and all the electrons are below the fermi level in this slide we see the direct and indirect band semiconductors and if the top of the valence band and it is the bottom of the valence band in ek diagram and we can see the top of the valence band and bottom of the conduction band is at the same k value in case of the direct band semiconductors and this uh, when uh, there is some transition then we we can get the transition directly and this this type of uh, materials are known as the direct band semiconductors these are gallium arsenide indium arsenide means compound semiconductors are there whereas in case of the elemental semiconductors like silicon germanium uh, we have 
the top of the valence band is not at same k value uh, as the bottom of the conduction band so there is a little bit difference so if electron have to transition uh, from conduction band to valence band so there is indirect way electron have to come from uh, from this k value to here is this k value and then will be, there will be transition so this kind of you know, semiconductors are known as uh, indirect bands gap semiconductors and now we discuss the density of state in semiconductor so we have seen in our last lecture that density of states in case of the uh, solids is given i given as in three dimension case ge is that proportional to e raised power 1 by 2 or 4 pi 2m to the power 3 by 2 h cube uh, divided uh, into under root e so this was the general case and in case of the semiconductor this e we have to take care of the uh, balance band energy and uh, conduction band energy also so density of state uh, in case of the semiconductors uh, we will use for the free electron e equal to p square by 2m or h bar square k square by 2m okay now we will discuss the density of states in case of the semiconductors and in semiconductors we have this conduction band and valence band and in case of the conduction band if the electrons are above this conduction band then we will have the energy of electron uh, we can write e equal to ec plus h square plus h square k square by 2 m e star m e star is the effective mass of electron or in some books it is also written as m n star so uh, ec is the this is bottom edge of the conduction band and electrons are in conduction band so ec plus this something and this will give us e minus ec equal to h square k square by 2 m e star and if we know the general formula like in, in last slide that then we put in instead of this e we have to write this e minus ec and ge will be 4 pi 2 m e star to the power 3 by 2 divided by h cube and root e minus ec and if e minus ec is greater then more number of states are occupied or if energy is higher more number of electrons are in conduction band and if e decreases so there will be less number of electrons states in this conduction band similarly we can also do it for the balance band so in top of the balance band have the energy eb so if electron is in balance band below this so e b minus e will be h square k square by 2 m p star or m h star it is for holes so in that case again this formula becomes g e or the density of state for holes equal to or for uh, g, density of state for valence band equal to 4 pi 2 m p star to the power 3 by 2 by h cube here it was e minus ec for the conduction band here it will be e b minus e for the holes because holes are below this e b and uh, it is for e is less than e b and if uh, the energy is between e b and e c then this density of state g e equal to 0 this is known as the forbidden state and electron and hole concentration in case of the semiconductor or intrinsic semiconductor we can find out using this formula n equal to n c that is uh, density of electrons e, e raised power minus e c minus e f by k t so it depends on temperature similarly the concentration of holes also depends on temperature p equal to n v e raised power minus e f minus e b by k t this n c and n v are the concentration at 0 kelvin and n if you multiply this to n p n into p uh, this value gives us n c and v e raised power minus e g by k t this e c minus e b is the band gap e g and uh, n into p equal to n i square and uh, for intrinsic semiconductor this n equal to p equal to n i that is the initially the concentration of holes and electrons would be equal and for uh, uh, silicon at room temperature it is around 10 to the power 10 per centimeter cube so this is um, how we can get the electron and hole concentration and in next lecture we will discuss how these values depends uh, we will con uh, calculate the equilibrium concentration and temperature dependent of these uh, electron and hole concentrations
so thanks for watching this video so please subscribe if you are new to this channel thank you very much uh, in next video we will discuss the effect of temperature on uh, the, the con carrier concentrations and your queries are welcome thank you very much